So today we have something kind of interesting that we are installing on a second gen Tundra. So behind me, I have my 2007 Toyota Tundra, which has the factory transmission cooler. But if we come over here, this customer brought us his Tundra and he doesn't have a dedicated transmission cooler. Everything is integrated into the oil cooler which I'm not sure why Toyota did this, but with a short check on Google, we found that some owners from 2018, 2019, um, even all the way up to 2021, had no dedicated transmission cooler. So that's what we're installing today on this truck. So if you look back there behind the grill, you'll see the aftermarket transmission cooler that we just installed kind of in the same position that the factory one should have been. So this is obviously a whole different hood because the grill is integrated into the hood, but you can see here the transmission cooler is all the way to the passenger side right there. And when this customer brought this truck in, he didn't have that. So he was concerned that his transmission would prematurely fail. And that is definitely possible. And he has everything actually measured right here on this scan gauge here. You can see there his automatic transmission temperature right there on the bottom right corner. So he knows exactly what temperature his transmission oil temps are at. So. He had the right thought there. So we got the transmission cooler installed right back there. So now he should be feeling much better about not having the transmission overheating. So we just got this installed obviously, so we won't know how, how soon that will go into play because this has literally just been sitting here idling. We're trying to get it up to temp and to see if it is going to have any effect on the oil temp. So if you are looking to get this done for your Tundra, if you don't have one of yours, especially if you tow or do anything with your truck, really, I'm not sure exactly why Toyota took that out. And especially because they've been installed from 2007 all the way up to 2017. So it's kind of weird that they just pulled that out, but I believe uh, there's a couple companies that has come up with kind of a solution like we installed here. So that's kind of the fix for it. So if you're in local to Colorado, want this done, hit us up, let us know, and we'll get this installed for you. It's pretty easy. It's just a little bit time consuming. So if you don't have the time, we can definitely help you out with that. But if you're new here and not subscribed, let us know what you guys want to see. We'll always make informational video like this to put out there just in case somebody, even if it's just one person that is looking for information like this. So let us know, we'll be here to help. Give us a call. I have our shop number down in the description as well. We'll see you guys next time.